You are live. Hey, welcome you guys. Aaron Jarrett's here. Take your mind today on Thursday. Well, we made it back. <laughs> Another <laughs> Thursday. Thank goodness it's going to be different than last day. <laughs> yes. Actually, we had a chance to watch the video and it wasn't, it didn't look as windy as it was. So oh, it I'm was glad so it windy. didn't show except for the, the Pina Rita falling <laughs> over Sorry. and the bubbly <laughs> blowing everywhere. But uh, yeah. So thankful for you guys to be here with us today. Uh, I want to say hello to all of you on this beautiful Thursday afternoon. Um, wish you all the best. And we've got a uh, kind of a packed show this uh, today. I want to do a quick overview of what, what we did last week, which was quite entertaining. <laughs> you had a chance to see that. And then we're going to do a, uh, a can extravaganza here. We're going to review all of our uh, wine in a can, all of our beautiful wines that we put in cans today. So, And we're going to talk a little bit about all those um, beautiful, gracious mothers out there in celebration mm -hmm. of Mother's Day. You don't yes. want anybody to forget that. And that was like yesterday, National Nurses Day. I'm pretty sure it was. So thank you, nurses. Yes, all those nurses. And, yeah. And, uh, healthcare providers that are out there working hard for us. So, um, well, I just want to do a quick recap of what we did last week. So last week we had uh, the pleasure of working through our uh, bubbly rosé, beautiful sparkling um, rosé wine. And we also went through our Pinot Grigio. Uh, both of those paired really well with the tostada yes. that we uh, prepared. And, um, and posted for you. And then we also went through our Mouvedre. So beautiful red wine, nice crisp uh, Bordeaux style, uh, French style red wine. Um, one of the things that I didn't, we kind of got caught up in the food and <laughs> all the extravaganzas that we did last sense. week. We, I didn't get to talk about Pinot Grigio, specifically growing the grapes, oh, yeah. which is something I wanted to kind of do a recap because it's very unique and different from most other white grapes. In that, the color of the skin, it's a cross between, between Pinot Noir and um, Pinot Blanc, right? They uh, married and had a child, so to speak, and uh, the baby was Pinot Gris. Pinot. <laughs> and so the unique thing about Pinot Gris is it has, as it ripens on the vine, it can have a, a white grape skin or it can have a rosé or even a dark red skin on the grape. So super important um, to, to harvest it right, but you have a chance to extract a little bit of color uh, in, the, in the wine. So most wineries um, uh, do a treatment to decolorize the, uh, the wine, and we've done that. And, but we're, we're thinking we might want to go uh, natural, right? Along with everybody else out there trying to do things better um, and more sustainable. So we thought we wanted to try to, um, we press it out, it has a, just a hint of, of beautiful um, color. I don't have it here to share with you, but yeah. uh, it'll be coming out soon. And just by a, a vote of hands or a thumbs up, or waves or whatever. Um, hearts. If, hearts, oh, yeah. yeah. If you guys wouldn't mind sharing if you think uh, you would like us to try and, um, I say celebrate the uniqueness and individualness of the variety of Pinot Gris and, and its natural state uh, versus make clarifying it uh, and making it like a real uh, clear white wine. So I kind of wanted to get your opinion as we move on. You can think about it for a minute. Um, the natural uh, Pinot, Pinot Gris that have a little bit of color, you don't see them very often, uh, but they're starting to make a comeback. And so I was just curious if you guys had any experience with that and if you would share it or do thumbs up or hearts, if you think that's a, a good idea, we wanted to kind of pull you. Yeah, a couple thumbs up. Yeah, you're getting some thumbs ups and hearts. Okay. Just give us any all thumbs the downs. No, so far no thumbs. <laughs> that would be, that would, I don't know if anybody. I don't know if that's an option. <laughs> 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 but 
But let's get started with some wine. I hope you guys uh, are enjoying a glass. If you're not, now's the time. The most important thing about wine Thursdays, wine down Thursdays, whatever you want to call it, is that you've got a glass of wine. So, uh, Courtney, you want to do the honors? We'll start with the mas no, we'll start with the, the uh, rosé. Oh, we're starting the rosé, you guys. The okay, rosé. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. I like taking my work. That's all right. I'll try to keep up today with that's you. Good. That's good. Let me, uh, let me oh, take that little guy. That? So this is our rosé uh, of Malbec. Beautiful, fresh, um, really refreshing uh, rosé. Those of you that have, the, um, have had uh, Hope's Thread rosé, uh, it's the same, same blend, same wine. Um, and it says, elegant and fresh with aromas of berry, vanilla, and flowers. So we, uh, we say this, this rosé has almost as bubbly of a personality as you do. So we're going to go ahead. It has, <laughs> has a tiny bit of uh, effervescence um, in, the, uh, in the wine, which helps just really lift the aromas right out of the glass. Serve it chilled. Uh, it's a great, great wine. And it's really hard. Can I see that can a little bit? Everybody's wondering, well, how do you drink a can? Well, you basically, just like a soda. The, the thing with wine in a can is that you don't want to slug it down like you would a beer or a no, soda. No, no, don't do that. Right? <laughs> One, it ruins the flavor. Two, it overwhelms you. <laughs> overwhelms you. You know, wine has a, a natural, naturally higher alcohol than most mm -hmm. other uh, beer or or uh, other drinks in a can, like yeah, soda. That's a so. fun conversation at game night. Yes. Talk about the alcohol content and everything. But if you prefer, one of the things that's hard out of a can, obviously, is to get the full uh, sensory evaluation of the aromas yes. to really, uh, it's really hard to do that. They're great on the go. Uh, they're great in different uh, environments. And they're even great at home. I enjoy these with dinner. Yeah. Uh, so you don't have to pop and try to finish a whole bottle. We do a lot of, um, so my son played soccer and uh, he played um, treble ball. And so you have to get there an hour before the game. And the game lasted an hour and a half. And so I always took cans to the games. And all of my friends, I was their favorite because I helped supply some nice, lovely drinks. Um, uh -huh. But so soccer, um, but I also love that there are two glasses, like in these guys, and this is one glass, that if you uh, just want one glass, yeah. if you are a smaller home, if you um, if you had enough but you just want one more glass, there's perfect serving sizes for you that way. Yes. So. Yeah. Everybody says, well, why in a can? Why wine in a can? Well, you know, in the wine industry, uh, we store wine in a lot of different uh containers, right? We use glass, right. we use stainless steel, we use oak, right? Wood, oak and redwood in the olden days and sometimes cedar and also concrete, if you can imagine. In the old days they used to ferment and now it's become like a reassurgent. They have these concrete eggs that you can store you your wine this? in. You should search it, it's pretty cool. So, <laughs> So why why not uh, aluminum? It's perfectly uh, perfectly good storage vessel for a can, and it provides a great opportunity to enjoy wine at different uh, occasions on different occasions. And uh, go ahead. Oh, what you doing there? I mixed in my. I don't rose think they could see you. Here. Here. I mixed in my moscato with my rosé. I run a little transition merry drink. So okay, what's that? What, what do you call that? Well, Brittany calls it uh, Herringer Half and Half. <laughs> I call it delicious. So. <laughs> yes. I just heard I had a little in my glass and I could do a transitionary drink. All right, well, Sorry. I'm going to join you on that, <laughs> that transition. I'm going to take another little sip of this. It's so good. Yeah, it's so nice, the little mix. Yeah. It's a nice little... I mean, you can make your own cocktail with the two cans, you guys. Yeah, so this is our little uh, little Moscato. Uh, same same wine that's in our normal 750 milliliter glass bottle, but in this really perfectly sized uh, single serve can. Um, so 
Yeah, we, we had uh, my assistant wine winemaker Brittany. She came up with this a long time ago. She used to work in a at a bar as well uh, back in her heyday, and she developed a, a beautiful blend of our rosé, our bubbly rosé, and our moscato. That's so, nice. and it's it's technically it's about half and half, yes. right? So it's, it's hard to, you can't hardly screw that up. No. So. And if you like more Moscato, you could do a little more Moscato. I mean, it doesn't technically have to be hot and hot. But what's mm -hmm. great about this is by the pool, you can by the pool is so easy. Um, you can make your own mix. Both of them are extremely refreshing. So just a really nice outdoor type of drink. So hiking, biking, yeah. kind of swimming. Yes. Movies. <laughs> Golfing. When you, when you let them back in, the movies, you can do that golfing. One of the things that I just, I don't know if I talked about this before, but like the golf courses have just been packed. So it's good to see people getting out, getting some exercise in, um, and enjoying the, the, the beautiful spring. But man, yeah, what a perfect opportunity for uh, to enjoy wine in a can. Yeah. Um, Places that don't offer, you know, don't want glass. And, you can uh, just enjoy it out of the can, or you can bring a cup with you if you like it out of the out of the glass uh, like this. I'll, a lot of times I'll sit down for dinner and um, I'll pour it into a glass when I'm at home because it just feels right. Yeah. You know, the glass just feels right. The can I'm still getting used to <laughs> drinking out of the can. Straight out of the can. Straight out of the can. I'm still getting used to. Certainly, uh, it's great like you said, at the movies mm -hmm. or when you don't have access uh, to a glass and you want a nice, you know, beautiful wine. Traveling. I mean, if you go on a vacation and you want to take some wine with you and you forget the wine opener, you don't need that with the king. Yes. I have lots of experience with that. <laughs> I use the knife, right, on the yeah. butter knife on the side and stick it in and you can, it's like those old uh, wine openers where you yes. stick the prongs on each side. I wish I had an example now that we're talking about it because now I'm just using my, <laughs> using my fingers, but you stick them in the side and you pinch the cork out. Yes. You can do that with a very thin uh, knife as well. Just be careful. I didn't advise this, but it actually <laughs> works. I've had people tell me put it in your shoe and bang against the wall, and I'm like, well, that seems wow. ridiculous. Wow, that's, I'm that's not doing that. yeah, that so sounds I dangerous. Out, I was like, well, that, you might lose half your bottle. Yeah, well, if you're really I'm desperate, right? And we know we've all been there, but you can actually push the cork in as well. So <laughs> that won't hurt, but you know, we all need to get into our bottle of wine. Mm -hmm. You guys look same time. Yeah, good, good. I'm, I'm, I'm keeping up today. So had a long week. How was your week this week? Long. Yes. <laughs> it's funny because you know some days go so quickly. Like, where did that day go? And then you have days where you're like, wait a second, it's only 10? <laughs> but I've done 800 things today. So that's today I felt like I did 800 things and time passed so slowly and then so quickly, like the last two hours. Yes. So I'm just glad Mike's here and we get a drink together. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we enjoy our Thursdays now. I wish you guys were all here. Hopefully soon you'll be mm -hmm. back. And we'll be able to welcome you here in the Heritage Barn at our vineyards, uh, enjoying, enjoying the space and enjoying company um, here in the, uh, in the Delta. So We have been rearranging the barn, you guys, so that we are ready uh, for when the order is lifted and we can still accommodate six feet separation. And so we've been yep. working really hard on trying to, to get everything ready for for you guys to come see us. That's our favorite part is seeing you guys and yep. hanging out with you, so. So if you're just joining us, we're um, featuring our, our all our cans today. We've got our bubbly, uh, our very bubbly personality rosé in a can. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very similar to our Hope's Thread rosé, if you've had that out of our 750 milliliter bottle. We've also got our beautifully crisp effervescent Moscato, which is here. Um, again, we didn't drink by itself, I apologize. We made the mix and then we didn't show you. Here, we should show you the color, because the color is so beautiful in the Moscato. There you go. Oh yeah, you're right. We did, we did, we did uh, go through this. Uh, so, it's you know, really light. It has a little bit of effervescence to it. I'll just walk up to it. Oh, you here. Sorry, we have two. Oh, that's right. 
Am I in the camera? Uh, no. Just your hand is. <laughs> <It's>, okay. <laughs> Closer? So that, it's Come beautiful. Over Come and see. it's got some little bubbles in it. Uh, just like the bubbly rosé, which has a very little bubble in it, it's really, really nice and crisp. When it's really, really cold, it's lovely. Okay, we've got two cameras going today because we're uh, joining all our friends on Facebook as well as Instagram. It's our so first time, you guys, on welcome. Facebook. Hello! Welcome, everybody. Thanks again for joining us. So we're going through our bubbly rosé, our Moscato, and our two eco casts, which is, uh, are the wines that we're now going to jump into after we finish this guy. But we've got a beautiful uh, white eco cast. Uh, in a can and our red. Mm. There's so many of you. Hi, everybody. So nice <laughs> to see you all in here. And we're actually doing, for a limited time, as a special, we're doing all these cans. Uh, it's 50% off a of flat. Again, we're really working hard to keep wine flowing to your houses, uh, keep you enjoying time at home as, as much as you can and also to keep uh, keep the vines healthy out here and to keep our employees healthy. So appreciate all your support. So all the wines, uh, by all these cans by the flat, which I think they're 24 at a flat. 24 and a flat. All 50% off. Uh, you can go online mm -hmm. and uh, and purchase and uh, we'll deliver. Or come see me in the tasting room. Yep, yep. That's we'll come my favorite. Pick up. You can call us too, you guys. Yep. You can call. Um, I'm planning on buying flats, and so if any of my friends are watching, close yours now. Um, and doing a little uh, door dashing to oh, my friends. What? Just to help, just to help lift their spirits. You yes. know, just do a can and be like, I miss you guys. Oh, man. Everything. You're an so, angel. Hi. My friends call me the are Wine Fairy. Are we good friends? Sure, I'll drop I'll give you my address. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I already know where Papa lives, so I'll just love drop that. him some wine too. Yeah, so it's a, yeah, my friends yes. call me the Wine Fairy, and they're like, they love it when I stop by. And so, I just, Door yeah. dash, yeah. best friends, give them all a six pack or a four pack yeah. of your favorite can uh, wine. Nice combination. Or yeah. bottle, whatever floats you, your uh, I've done both so far. <laughs> Man, you are a great friend. I just want everybody to know that I miss them. Yes. I, I, and I'm sending everybody virtual hugs because I'm a hugger. So not being able to hug people is really hard. I know. It's yeah. one of those weird, you know. I'm a, I, you know, I touch you to show my affection. And I, how you doing? You know, and so this is keeping my six feet distance is real hard. Yes. <laughs> this is three feet, and it's still. <laughs> so right. we've got our um, EcoCast White. So those of you who don't know, our EcoCast uh, blend is kind of infamous. We've been doing this for probably almost uh, 12 or 13 years. We came up with this idea of a cask. Some people uh, call it a jug. We like to call it a cask. It really elevates the the uh, <laughs> the wine. It's not just any wine. You're not just it's not jug wine. No. Is is the big point I want to get across. And same thing with the cans. The cans get a little bit of a bad rap because um, as cans have evolved uh, and grown in popularity. A lot of times you'll find there's not really great wine put in the can, so um, don't give, don't, don't, don't uh, uh, give cans a bad rap. Yeah, yeah. just uh, we've got some really great wines in a can, and uh, that's really what matters is the wine inside the container, not necessarily the container. Mm -hmm. So uh, the Eco Cask has been a fan favorite. We we developed this to be just a really uh, economy, uh, economy, economically driven wine. Um, Sometimes words are hard. I know, <laughs> I know, especially on Thursday after a long week. Yes. But um, you know, a really a, a great value wine that you can enjoy at home every day uh, at your table with dinner. Um, so we've got a white and a red. Uh, it's our eco cask. So this is where this, this is equivalent of about almost three bottles of wine, of red wine. And, uh, and then we've got the same thing for our white. Oops. That's okay, we didn't spill anything this time. <laughs> yes, we're doing good today. 
Okay, I almost so this table has a divot in it, and I've set my glass on it twice, thinking that it would be okay, and it's not mm. okay. <laughs> so the this is my favorite summer one. I love this one. I throw it in the cooler. Um, we play uh, games out in the front yard, so this is the one that I will go play games in the front yard with, or when I walk to my neighbor's house to hang out. Yeah. Soon, hopefully. Yes. Um, I take the cans with me because I don't have to worry about dropping it. Yeah. Um, they're easily portable and they're shareable, you know. It's it's such a nice, it's, yeah, like you were saying, if you yeah. can get past that it's in a can, it's a great wine. It's so good. We drink all of Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think the the one the red blend is one of my favorites, uh, mm -hmm. and this white blend is just beautiful. It's crisp. I'm gonna test you here. Do you remember what the varieties are in this Depends blend? Depends on the day, but um, I believe it's Oak Vignette, Chenin Blanc, Sauvignon Blanc, Verdejo, and a splash of Moscato to help balance it out. Ian. Wow, very good. Yes. So there is Vignette, <laughs> Sauvignon Blanc, Chenin Blanc, Verdejo and a splash of Moscato, just to really smooth things out. Now you don't see Verdejo a lot, but it's, like you never see that bottle yes. alone, right? No, you rarely see a varietal designated Verdejo. Yeah. And it's, uh, I can't see it. <laughs> there's a Spanish grape, it's Verdejo, and with a, uh, a J, and then there's a Portuguese sibling that was from Portugal originally, and that one's spelled with a L H O Verdello, Verdello. So this one's Verdejo with a J O. Just in case you wanted to know that. <laughs> All these useless facts All that we give. Well, every week I learn something new, and I'm like, I learned something new, and then I don't write it down, and then I will forget it until he tells me again. So, so this the, the Verdejo we've never had. We've only got one acre of this uh, grape that uh, it's just been really fun to grow. Um, it's like a uh, kind of a lighter, crisper Chardonnay, mm -hmm. uh, kind of a blend between Chardonnay and maybe Sauvignon Blanc. So uh, really nice grape, but we've never had enough to do a, a varietal wine out of it. So we use it to really um, add complexity to our white blends. Yeah. And it's, it's, beautiful. it's I love it. found its way in this guy here, but, uh, and it's a Spanish grape and it adds to some of the Spanish yes, portfolio great. that we have, yeah. you know, the Tempranillo mm -hmm. and, and some of the other grapes that, uh, that we grow from Spain. The, uh, the one of the things that I love about the, the Eco Cask and now it's uh, our, our Eco Can is, um, oh, I gotta get, get to work here. <laughs> Sorry, slacking off. No, you're telling about the Eco Cask, the Eco Can. So one of the things, we call this our, our mama or papa uh, cask. And then this is the little baby, uh, baby eco. So mama and papa eco, and then baby eco. So it's a family, it's a family of ecos. <laughs> uh, eco friendly with the packaging, uh, great, great wines and great blends uh, to enjoy. Uh, this is the what is this? This is the family side, the yeah. family style, the party style. Party style, yeah. <laughs> so or you can drink that. I mean. Uh, over the course of about a week or yeah. two days. No, I'm just kidding. Two days. But, um, but it's also great is when you bring this guy back, you also get a $5 discount on your next purchase of the, the big eco class. So yeah. that's an, it's a nice benefit that we're reusing the bottles and uh, remaining sustainable and yep. caring for the land. So that's part of the thought behind that. Yes. So I'm still on my white. So uh, if you're just now joining us, we're going through our, our eco cans, our both our red and the white. Um, just I'm just finishing the white and I'm gonna jump into the red. Mm. The red is the other thing that's just evolved over time with this wine. It is now we have these eco cask blending parties. Right? I know, we had to cancel it because of COVID this year. I was Postpone so, it. Postpone, postpone it. I'm sorry, yeah, you're yeah. right. Yeah. I, my heart was broken. We had so many guests who wanted to come, but it's my favorite because Mike talks about the wines that we'll be using and dinners involved, and then you get to make your own blends, and, and you, you're with your favorite people, and you're doing this great, fun thing. So. Yeah, 
so it's been, it's kind of evolved and we really wanted this wine to be a fan favorite. And because we, we so we put on this uh, EcoCast blending event where you come, I, we, we have uh, feature three wines that we're gonna put in our next EcoCast, but we don't know what the blend is. And I tell you, it's the uh, easiest job of making wine that I have because <laughs> you guys get to do all the hard work. It's your job for the night. And that's blending. the blend for the next year, you guys. Like, so yeah. this blend was made by our members. Which is fantastic. So we get a group of, uh, you know, the tables are anywhere from six to eight people. They all come together. We have a great dinner. Uh, and we feature, we go through all three of the wines individually. And then we start the competition. We start blending, right? And each table uh, develops their, what they feel like is the best wine for our next EcoCast mm -hmm. model. And so I think we do... I think there's about, uh, every table does about six different blends, right? It's a lot of, uh, and it's very involved, it's a lot of fun. People have, we have team names for the tables and just a great night. And um, I think we create probably, between all the tables, there's probably like a hundred blends created oh, that's crazy. in one night. And over I didn't the course, even get to taste them, you guys. What kind of night is that? <laughs> over the course of about, I don't know, it was about three hours. Three hours. Tour yeah. there, um, or, or maybe even more with dinner. But it's just a really fun, fun night. And so all the tables blend and put together their best, what they feel like is their best representation. Right. They submit it to the competition. All the associates, we put the final blends together from each table, and they go through a, a semi-final round. And then a final round where it's it's like a tournament style almost where you go through two rounds of final tasting and eliminations and all that good stuff till we come up with um, the best wine. Of and that's the not night. us. That's that's our voted on by yeah, you know seventy five or a hundred people. Yeah. So it's really um, yeah it's kind of the. Uh, People's Choice Award, so it really is. It's so much fun. Very rewarding, and I've gone back. I'll tell you what, I've gone back and played with the blends that were created on those nights, and I can't find a better blend. <laughs> right? That's so funny. And it's like, it's amazing. I've got a hundred people out there that are tasting the wines and saying, "Hey, that's it." So I, uh, I've learned right. not to screw with that. And um, sorry. But it's supposed to say I that, that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> but um, don't mess with it. Don't mess with it. This is just a beautiful. A lot of these wines were aged uh, aged in oak uh, for an extended period of time. Uh, it, this red has got Malbec. It's got our Tempranillo, and it's got a little Petit Verdot for that that beautiful um, round body. Uh, Malbec and Tempranillo are just amazing wines on their own. And then you throw a little bit of that uh, Petit Verdot in there. That just a big guy. Just a knockout. This is, I mean, it's one of my favorites. It is. It's really good. And then uh, what's great is, um, like, you still get the complex flavors. Like, you get the caramel. You get the, like, there's so much to it. It's so yes. nice. I'll tell you what, though. that the, the, the one thing that is challenging is that this can does not give this wine the justice it deserves if you just drink it out of the can. It really is meant for a beautiful glass. Um, I can try to sniff it, and I do get some, <laughs> but it's really difficult out of, a, out of a can top. But it's a great way to pack for hiking, mm -hmm. pack for the pool, pack for the, uh, the campground and the beach, um, and any other, any other activity that, that uh, is, is, is suited for. But, um, I like to uh, pour it in a glass and enjoy it with dinner. And um, the other thing too, this helps me um, make sure I don't overconsume, right? Uh, no, it's because it's, it's it's the equivalent. It's a half a bottle of wine. That's what I tell people: is one is two glasses, two is an entire <laughs> bottle of wine. So you yes. cannot you can't drink it like you're drinking like a hard lemonade or something. You got <laughs> you gotta really rein it in when you're doing it. You can't drink two of those. Or you're drinking a bottle. I mean maybe yeah. you can drink a bottle. Who knows? Yeah. So I've, I've had it out of a can uh, sipping watching a movie 
and you just sip it, and it you know lasts it's, an hour. It's just great. Well, actually. Mine does not last an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I try not to fall asleep in the movie. So, I'm sipping it. I'm taking care of it. It's fine. Um, mm. Did we mention it? Isn't it Teacher Appreciation Week too? Is that this week? Aww. What? Yeah, this week is Teacher Appreciation Week. So you teachers. Um, Man. You know, teachers are having to teach in a whole new way, so we really appreciate you guys. And then um, uh, parents who are learning to teach, <laughs> which is really difficult. Yes. So, you know, kudos to everybody. I mean, it's been a, a huge uh, learning experience for everyone, but everyone has really stepped up, and it's been really cool to watch. So. Yeah, yeah. Thank God for all those teachers out there, because mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, they got their work cut out for them. Yeah. They did in the classroom, but without that personal touch and connection, man, it's just really hard. I know my kids, I've got a 16 year old and a 14 year old, and it's tough. It's, They're not it's logging in, they yeah. don't get the personal mm -hmm. time, they're not able to see their friends. It's, I mean, it's been, it's been tough, but. Um, I didn't want to forget, and I was thinking, what was, what was Penelope's like? It's teacher appreciation week. So. Yes, so for all your favorite teachers, you can do the door drop, right? Yeah. If you know they will love lives. you forever. <laughs> they will. I will tell you so. Um, Kim will get straight A's. I have always dropped wine for my kids' teachers. Yes. So it has to be incognito. Wow. Just, you know, yeah, incognito. don't take it on campus. Yeah. I don't think that's a good idea. It's not right? supposed to be. <laughs> You're walking with your <laughs> my kids in. to but, the different classrooms. <laughs> I can see it now. Well, it is. No, I'm just dropping cars. something off. But it was always, and they always appreciated it because, you know, uh, they always get Starbucks cards and they love Starbucks. And, yes. But this is something they can enjoy after school. This is a whole other level yeah, of so Starbucks. I've right? always taken my to my kids' teachers. Oh, man. Because I love them. Yes. They do so much work and I just love them. So it's my favorite gift. Yep. So here's to all the teachers, teachers! out there. Raise your glass. The teachers and to your favorite mom. Mom, nurses. All of your moms staff. out there. Yeah. It's one of the days, that you, it's Sunday, so don't forget that. <laughs> don't forget Do your due diligence. You've got, what, 48 hours to get yes. the job done. Um, you know what's funny is my, uh, my mother-in-law and my sister-in-law and my sister's birthdays usually fall somewhere on Mother's Day. So they're the 9th and 10th, and so we are always sending birthday cards and Mother's Day cards. And it's, uh, it's wow. I'm like, how did you guys both yes. do that? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mother's Day, birthdays, birthdays. It's fun. Yeah. So, so we, we just celebrated my son just oh, yesterday had his sixteenth birthday. Had his sixteenth birthday today actually. Aww. And uh, he's all bummed out because he can't go get his driver's license. Uh -huh. But uh, I don't know what's some state is is they're just doing the online version. They're letting a bunch of sixteen year olds just sign up online and drive away without the driving test, so that's a little bit frightening, yeah. but <laughs> I don't think uh, youngest, it's definitely not happening in California, no, that's for sure. My youngest, the day that they shut down the state, I would, uh, we drove in there and they were like, sorry, that's we canceled them. Oh, it was the day that wow. they shut it down. So I made some upside down cakes for you guys. Upside what? down cake. They're mandarin orange upside down cakes. It's like five ingredients. It's super, super easy. Wow. So I wanted to give a shout out because today uh, was the day that my wife became a mother 16 years ago. So we're going to have a special celebration for my wife, who's an amazing woman, and my mom, obviously, and all the other, all the other mothers that, uh, that are in your lives. So what do we got here? Mandarin orange upside down cake. But like it's cake mix, it's got the brown sugar and the butter mixed in and then mandarin oranges. In the cake mix, it's one egg and the juice from the mandarin orange can. Wow. You bake it and it's yeah, it's easy to do. It's it's more it's a dense cake, it's not a light and fluffy cake, but mm. it's really nice. So I figured we just keep sharing stuff with you guys. I was like, <laughs> I'll get up at eight in the morning and I'll bake some upside down cake. So upside wow. down cake. Well thank you. What yeah. a treat. So That's what fun. in your opinion what would this best pair with? I, think, I, I thought you would just say wine, but. <laughs> oh, I was thinking this one seriously. <laughs> wine. There you go. Um, I think the white, the white eco cast would be lovely with it. The white eco yeah. cast, yes. I think probably the bubbly, oh, the, uh, the, the, the rose of Malbec would be mm -hmm. great, and the Moscato, all beautiful. Just, 
with this. And you said this has a caramelized. Yeah. So it, you, it's like an upside down cake in muffin tins. And so it's the brown sugar and butter down the bottom. Oh, man. Yeah. I think that would pair well with this great one red, <laughs> I like, too. I think any of the four would do if I know this. Oh, yes. <laughs> We're going to eat. It'll okay, well, do the honors, please. Oh, I keep eating. Um, okay, eating We're going to make you like eat it. today. Oh. So she cooks it and she said she eats it, but if I cook it, she doesn't take a bite. No, I didn't want you to end up in the mess of the wind. See, it's so mm. good. All right, here we go. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Mmm. Oh, my. <laughs> I like it when people respond like that. <laughs> that packs a fun. And this yeah. is the upside down side, right? Yeah. I could taste it. All the goodies are right there at the top. Because it's you turn it upside yeah. down and then top. It's on the really bottom. easy to make, and it's one of those things that people really enjoy. So it's you know. I it's almost it's like a denser angel cake mm -hmm. with a lot more character. Yeah. Right. A lot, of, a lot of power to it. Oh my gosh! Good. Yeah. You're gonna share the recipe with everybody. I sure am. All right. I like it. <laughs> so, uh, anything else you wanna share? Um. No, I wanna I wanna wish everybody a wonderful Mother's Day. I wanna wish you. All the best and healthy uh, next week, uh, health next week. And uh, mark on your calendars because I'm, I'm sure we're going to be able to host you very shortly. Um, we do, I uh, will we'll re reiterate for all those door drops that yeah. everybody's going to do, uh, we're doing 50% off all of our cans for a limited time only. So go online. For a flat, not just for the cans, got to be the Yes, flat. it is a, a flat, a case, a flat of 24 cans, but it's a great, great deal for a really amazing wines. Mm -hmm. um, also, this week, we are going to uh, offer the opportunity to do a beautiful levy tour to get your exercise out on the farm. Yes. So if you have been looking for an opportunity to enjoy a beautiful place uh, and walk. We've got a beautiful levee right behind our, um, our vineyard and our barn, and we're gonna open that up for reservations, um, for a, a beautiful stroll out in the vineyard. Um, so you can go online and, uh, and put in your reservation if you wanna join us. Come, come out, pick up your favorite wines to take back and enjoy for dinner, so. We already have our first reservation for the walk. Very exciting, you guys. Yeah, we are excited because it's a beautiful space. A lot of times I go out of the office and I walk up on the levee and I just take off. And it really gets you, I mean, it's just so beautiful. Lets you release all the, uh, all your crazy thoughts. <laughs> no, it's very relaxing and lovely. Helps you focus. There's owl, owl homes up there. So sometimes you see the babies and the owls fly out and say hi. And mm -hmm. there's flowers. And, yeah, it's just, it's nice. It's, it's a nice walk, so. Yes. So we, we're still required to do all the social distancing and we're going to have signage and uh, want everybody to be safe while they're out here. So we'll have a little uh, welcome welcome area before you go on your tour if you decide to come out and enjoy the property. But we'll look forward to having you. It's a self-guided tour. Self-guided tour. <laughs> so thank you. We're Karen. not walking with you. Yes, you will be on your own. Although you would probably enjoy that also. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, no. Okay. And reservations are on our homepage on our website right now. So Correct. you can click through that. Yes. It's called The Little Hoot Nature Walk. The Little Hoot <laughs> Nature Walk. Thank you. He's very popular, that guy. Yeah. There's three <laughs> owl boxes on the walk. So. Three owl boxes. And then you can come back and watch owls actually get released. Um, we do an annual oh. owl release. So we're working through the details of that, whether it's going to be online or it's going to be in the yard. Mm -hmm. I mean, it'll be in the yard, but whether it will be the viewing of it will be online is uh, to be determined. Uh, we're hopeful like everything else. that is going to be online. Um, no, not online. <laughs> hopeful. I'm done with online. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're hopeful you're all out here uh, for it. But I think that about wraps it up. I really want to thank you guys for joining us today. I want to wish you the best week and weekend enjoy your thursday afternoon your friday god bless each and every one of your families and uh look forward to seeing you soon bye, you all guys. right bye happy mother's day